Okay, uh, so uh, after the break, so we are back here. Uh, so let me continue uh, the um, the graphical interpretation of the IV characteristic. And as an exercise, I have asked you to uh, make uh, rewrite uh, this um, uh, expression of the current. Uh, as I said, that if VSG it is less than uh, threshold voltage, all practical purposes, you may say that this is equal to zero. Uh, on the other hand, if V s g is higher than V t h and um, V s d it is less than V s g minus V t h. In fact, this is nothing but uh, the, the pinch of condition uh, we are avoiding uh, and in this case uh, the current is um, uh, it is uh, mu p epsilon oxide divided by T ox. Uh, into W by L into V S G minus V T H minus V S D by 2 into V S D. And we will see that uh, as you have discussed for uh, in MOSFET, this is uh, nothing but uh, referred as uh, linear region of operation or uh, it is also referred as triode region of operation. Uh, on the other hand, uh, if the pinch of it is happening, namely if V S D it is more than um, uh, V S D minus V T H or uh, you, uh, so in that case, uh, you may see that the pinch of already happened and then the, ex, uh, the current it is uh, having uh, hardly any dependency on V D S. Um, so, this is the um, K part and then W by L um, into we do have 2 here and then V S G minus V T H square multiplied by 1 plus lambda into V S D. So, um, let us see what is the graphical interpretation of this and uh, uh, to start with uh, let we uh, let we consider say for a given value of V G S let you observe I S D as function of V S D. So, um, initially Initially, if you see um, if VSD, it is less than this uh, uh, voltage, which is referred as VSD set. So, till that point, we may say that it is parabolic in nature or second order kind of things. Um, but then, instead of really going this parabola beyond that. So, this is the point where V S D equals to V S D set and beyond that point the current do get saturates. So, the current remains constant and whatever the small slope it may be uh, contributed to this lambda called channel length modulation. So, this portion we call, so beyond this point it is called saturation region and uh, this region it is from here to here it is may say triode region. And so, this is uh, we obtain for a given value of um, V G S or rather V S G higher than V T H magnitude. And uh, so, if you are decreasing uh, the V S G, you will be getting similar kind of characteristic, but of course, the corresponding pinch off it will happen at different point, because uh, the pinch off of course, it depends on uh, the corresponding V D set. So, it enters to the saturation at a different uh, 
voltage and uh, so and so. So, if you decrease the uh, V s g uh, it will be going like this. So, V s g if you are decreasing and if it is going towards V t h then it enters to the cutoff region. So, in here we do have the cutoff region. So, the cutoff region it is coinciding with um, V s d axis. And um, on the other hand if you are um, uh, observing the uh, corresponding uh, current as function of V s g uh, as function of I s sorry I s d as function of V s g. So, uh, here what you can see um, it starts with uh, rather um, uh, saturation first. So, it of course, initially it will be having cut off then it is having um, saturation in the saturation region it is having square dependency and then it goes to the linear or triode region. And below this of course, you do have the cut off region. So, so that is the uh, uh, that is the different range of the um, so, uh, this is of course, for a given value of um, V s d and um, if you change the V s d to different values, then uh, for a smaller V s d it may enter into triad region before uh, then this point or maybe later depending on the value of the V s d. Uh, so, this is what the graphical representation. So, it is very similar as I said except of course, the instead of um, I d s we call I s d and instead of V g s we call V s g and so and so. Uh, there is uh, an alternative way of uh, representing uh, this. So, I should say uh, people call it is uh, alternate uh, uh, representation graphical represent representation of the same thing. Uh, what is the difference there? It is um, um, instead of instead of um, plotting this I s d versus V s d, uh, if you try to plot say I s d versus rather I d s versus V d s to maintain the consistency with the uh, uh, NMOS. Uh, in that case, so the uh, the the curve it will be uh, IV characteristic curve it will be getting shifted to the third quadrant. So, this will be the triode region and then it will be entering to the uh, the uh, saturation region. So, for different values of um, uh, different values of uh, the um, V g s or V s g you will be having different kind of different IV characteristic plot. So, um, of course, this is for uh, we are discussing about uh, PMOS. So, for PMOS you may say that whenever we are observing uh, we are claiming that or we are trying to pretend that uh, I d s is uh, the positive the actual direction polarity of the current is from source to drain as a result it is having you may say negative uh, direction current. So, same thing for the voltage also. Um, so, if you say that uh, for actual operation source is at higher potential than drain which means that V d s is actually negative. So, uh, same thing you can uh, it can be uh, also uh, discussed about the uh, I d s versus V g s. So, if you plot I d s versus V g s instead of V s g uh, as you can guess that the corresponding I v characteristic plot it will be Mm, it starts with uh, beyond threshold, it starts with uh, the, uh, the saturation region and then it enters to the linear region. And uh, this voltage uh, of course, up to this voltage the current is 0 and if you see that if you consider V g s is your parameter, then this is the point where the device starts working or you may call this is the threshold. 
and since it is coming on the negative side, so we may say that the threshold here it is now minus V T H. So, that is why uh, whenever you are talking about P MOS transistor, we may say that the actual threshold voltage is actually negative. So, uh, V T H in other words for P MOS device V T H it is negative and to avoid this confusion uh, in, in this plot and this plot uh, to get the correct um, uh, interpretation, we prefer to use the mod here V T H P. So, if say V T H is given to us it is a negative and if you take the mod then we will be getting the positive. So, in this uh, representation the first representation where we are plotting ISD versus VSG, we know that the threshold voltage it will be right side of the origin and hence it is positive. On the other hand, uh, some people as I said uh, are trying to plot uh, IDS versus VGS for PMOS transistor, there of course, the, uh, the threshold point it will be lying on the left side of the origin and hence it is actually negative. Okay, so, that is about the uh, uh, representation, graphical representation of the IV characteristic of PMOS transistor. Um, uh, the, it is better to consider this convention rather than this one, because of the similarity of the, uh, 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 the IV characteristic with respect to uh, NPN. Uh, but as I said that we need to be careful about the, um, uh, the subscript part, the direction of the uh, the voltage and the direction of the current. So, let us go uh, to some of the numerical problems, um, probably uh, uh, when you consider uh, the circuit particularly analog, uh, electronic cir uh, analog electronic circuit, where uh, the device may be already existing or may be um, uh, the technology is already um, decided. Uh, so, in that case so what we can say that whether you consider this equation or this equation, uh, the parameter uh, there it is um, we can say that this portion it is constant called k uh, and um, similar to of course, uh, the uh, uh, NMOS device. And here since it is the mobility of the, um, the p type uh, uh, device, so or I should say mobility of the holes is involved here. And this k it will be different from uh, k for uh, uh, NMOS transistor. As a result, we may uh, use different value of k and we prefer to use subscript p. So, uh, this is um, called uh, transconductance uh, parameter uh, and um, then if you already have. So, this is also k p transconductance parameter. And in case if the device it is uh, already got implemented, then W and L is also decided. So, in that case the whole thing it can be considered as constant. So, you may say that the whole thing uh, either this one or excluding this two part, uh, this factor is given to us. So, uh, this is also referred as another constant k with a small uh, k. Uh, subscript p excluding this 2. So, uh, this k uh, small k uh, p it is referred as transconductance factor. So, this is parameter and this is factor. So, um, that you need to be careful and of course, later on we will also see that some uh, some another parameter small signal parameter called transconductance g m. So, this transconductance part it is utilized for in multiple places. Please do not get confused. One is transconductor parameter capital K and uh, transconductance uh, factor small k and then transconductance of the device. So, this, this one we will see it later. So, uh, uh, in case if we are dealing with the circuit probably the value of this k or this k it will be given to us along with maybe W and L or maybe you have to decide what will be W and L. And maybe for given value of V S G, V S D, we may have to find the current and so and so. And also maybe you have to see whether the device it is in triad region or it is in 
saturation region based on that we may use this equation or this equation. Okay. So, let us uh, uh, go to some as I said uh, let us move to some numerical example. Um, so, let us see what we have this numerical example here. So, um, this is of course, a uh, numerical example uh, using uh, in MOS transistor. So, we do have in MOSFET and um, the value of k transconductance parameter it is given to us 1 milli ampere per volt square. Uh, threshold voltage of the in MOS transistor it is given 1 volt. Lambda you can in this example you consider it is very small which means that channel length modulation we are almost ignoring. W by L the aspect ratio of the channel it is given to us as 2. Now, uh, we do have three parts. So, let us uh, let you consider uh, part uh, A and the V G S is given to us uh, is uh, 3 volt. Uh, we assume that this is connected to source and uh, without loss of generality, let us assume that this is connected to ground. So, we do have 3 volt here and then we do have um, uh, different values of the V D S and we need to find what will be the corresponding um, I D S current. So, we do have V D S. So, if you see here this is 0 0.5 and uh, V G S is 3 volt threshold voltage is 1. So, of course, the device it is on uh, V G S is more than V T H. Uh, but uh, you have to also see whether uh, the pinch off it is happening or not by considering V G D. So, in this case V G D if you see here. So, V G D it is equal to 2.5. So, 3 minus um, 0.5. So, that is 2.5 which is of course, higher than V T H which means that channel is existing to the drain end also. In other words, the pinch off is not happening. So, we have to use the equation, uh, the corresponding equation of the IDS. Uh, so, let me use this, uh, you may recall this IDS expression uh, that k multiplied by w by l into V g s minus V T H minus V D S by 2 into V D S. So, what we have here it is 1 milli that means 10 to the power minus 3. Uh, this is into 2, then we do have uh, uh, 3 minus um, 1. So, that is uh, we do have 2 here and V D S equals to 2.5 by 2. Yeah. So, this minus um, uh, 1.25 into V D S. So, that is 2.5. So, uh, so, this much of ampere. So, you can find what will be the corresponding value. Uh, so, uh, only thing is as I said that you need to be careful that the device whether I have to consider um, the striode region or we have to consider in uh, the saturation region. So, this is now done. Uh, now, let us look into the next part B part. Uh, so, here uh, V G S we are keeping same, but then V D S we are uh, changing to 3 volt. So, what we have here it is um, to consider this part, we do have 3 volt here, body is connected with this and then we do have uh, here also we do have 3 volt. So, as you can see here uh, V G S is more than V T H of course, the device is on and um, however, uh, V D S since it is equal to V G S. So, drop across this one it is just 0 voltage. So, for this case 
V G D equals to 0 volt. So, that means the pinch off is happening because it is less than threshold voltage. So, the equation we will be using for this case it is uh, to find the um, I D S current we need to use this I D S equals to and this k which is 10 power minus 3 into um, w by l which is 2 then uh, v g s minus v t h. So, that is again 3 minus 1. So, that is also 2. So, that square divided by 2 into 1 plus lambda v d s. So, that is lambda is equal to 0 into this 3. So, this part becomes 1 and uh, that is how we are getting equal to 4 milli ampere. So, the current here it is actually 4 milli ampere current. So, likewise you can find uh, this one uh, here it is very straightforward uh, the device uh, the pinch off the V d s is further increased compared to th this one. So, the in fact V g d if you see here now it is negative rather. So, definitely this is um, uh, the pinch off is happening and uh, again I should use the same equation only difference is that this V d s instead of 3 now I should use 5, but anyway we do have this is equal to uh, 0. So, here also we are getting I d s is equal to 4 milli ampere. So, uh, pictorially um, uh, you may recall that um, different region of operation. So, um, uh, we do have different region of operation. In first part, we are uh, so this is for all cases we do have the same V g s, V g s is equal to 3 volt, but then we do have different V d s. Uh, so, for one case uh, we do have 5 volt here. So, this is um, V d s. So, this is V d s axis, this is I d s axis. So, uh, for case C uh, we are here and uh, for case B um, there also we are in the saturation region uh, and on the other hand uh, for case A we are somewhere here. So, A is here then B is here and then C is here. So, for this case since lambda is uh, very small, so we are getting same level of current namely 4 milli ampere here the current it was less. So, that is how we can solve uh, uh, numerical problems probably you can try out um, one numerical problem on uh, PMOS uh, transistor. It is uh, similar, um, uh, but of course, uh, I have changed the parameter. Uh, so, what are the changes we do have here? Uh, the V T H magnitude of the V T H it is uh, instead of 1 we are considering uh, 1.5. In fact, uh, you may recall V T H P sometimes if it is given directly it may be given this V T H P is minus 1.5. Okay. It is I should say it is same. So, here also we consider lambda is equal to 0 W by L the aspect ratio is equal to 2 and the transconductance parameter uh, k it is 0.5 instead of 1.5 milli ampere per volt square. Uh, so, I will be giving just hint probably you can work it out V s g to whatever the difference we do have compared to the previous case. Now, we do have the V s g here. So, this is for case A and B we do have 2.5 and then uh, of course, body is connected here and then V s d on the other hand uh, we do have V s d. This is uh, for first case it is 0.5 volt and um, so now if you see uh, whether in this case uh, uh, whether the device it is in triad region or not what we have to do. Uh, of course, uh, the V s g it is uh, 2.5 which is higher than the threshold voltage. 
So, the channel is on at the source end. Now, we have to find what will be the uh, condition of the um, uh, V D G. So, in this case V D G. So, um, V D G it is um, uh, drain voltage uh, uh, with respect to uh, the gate. So, um, what we have here it is the common is source. So, you may write this is um, um, this is V um, S D and this is V S G all right and uh, so you can write this is as um, V S G minus V S D right. So, this is equal to uh, we do have um, uh, 2.5 minus 0 0.5 which is equal to 2 which is um, of course, uh, higher than magnitude of this threshold, which means that. So, here also we do have the channel. So, that means the pinch off yet to happen and as a result we may say that this is um, we have to use the triode um, uh, region equation and uh, accordingly we can find the corresponding current here the I s d right. So, um, please do not get confused about uh, the different polarities and all. Uh, the simplest way of looking into uh, the device is uh, the, my suggestion will be like this. If you see here, uh, we know that gate uh, will be at lower potential with respect to source and um, uh, to have the, the channel and not only the gate should be uh, at lower potential than source, but of course, with at least with this much of margin to have the channel existing and it is valid for the drain region also. So, in other words the gate should be at lower potential than the drain to have the channel and the difference should be at least the V T H. Now, if you see here this is the common terminal source with respect to that the voltage here it is 2.5 lower whereas, for this case it is only 0.5 lower which means that the gate voltage and if I if I compare gate voltage and drain voltage, gate voltage is definitely lower than drain voltage because this is smaller and um, uh, in fact, uh, the difference here it is uh, 2 volt. So, I should say uh, gate voltage V g uh, minus um, V d. So, uh, sorry I will take it the other way V d minus V g. So, that is what you call V d g. So, that is um, uh, 2 volt. So, as long as this is at lower potential and this is at higher potential and the difference is uh, at least this much, then you can say the channel is existing. That means, the device yet to enter into saturation still it is in triode region. Uh, so, that is how you can uh, look into this one. In fact, instead of considering source as the reference uh, in practical circuit we will be having rather reference it will be uh, towards the drain and we may be having some circuit here. So, instead of uh, trying to compare this V S G and V S D and following this one we may prefer that individual node voltage gate voltage and drain voltage with respect to the common voltage. So, instead of this formula probably this is what it will be more convenient and you can find whether um, drain is at a higher potential than the gate by a margin of threshold voltage. So, that may be a better way to judge whether the device it is already having pinch off or whether it is uh, uh, it is in triad region. Probably you can work out for this case. Um, and um, it is of course, um, the actual solution is the device uh, it is already in um, saturation. So, in this case uh, the uh, if you recall the uh, I I S D ok. Sorry, I should write here I S D instead of I D S. So, that you will get positive entity here. Um, 
So, um, anyway ISD versus uh, if you plot uh, V um, is D. So, since we are taking care of the subscript, uh, so that the I V characteristics should remain in uh, in the um, in the uh, first quadrant. So, we do have the saturation region here and then we do have the drive region here. And for case A, uh, the, the device it is uh, somewhere here. So, this is the uh, case A, whereas for case B, it is um, uh, the device it is um, it enters into saturation region and this is for V is G equals to 2.5 volt and probably you can find what will be the corresponding current. Uh, on the other hand, for case C, uh, of course, the V G S or V S G it is different instead of 2.5, now it is uh, uh, we do have uh, uh, 3.5 rather. So, the corresponding I V characteristic it will be different like this. And uh, however, this V S D it is sufficiently high, probably it is uh, somewhere here. So, the case C it is here. So, uh, then you can of course, uh, the device it is already in saturation, you can find the corresponding current. In fact, uh, if you see here quickly the ISD uh, for this case uh, or this case, maybe we consider this case. Uh, here it is uh, 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 and then we do have um, um, W uh, is um, W by L is 2, then we do have another 2 here and then uh, V S G is 3.5 minus 1.5 that is 2 square and 1 plus lambda V D S part it is equal to 1. So, what we are getting here it is um, this 2 are getting cancelled, we do have 4 here and then we do have 0.5. So, that gives us 2 milli ampere this is the case for this one. On the other hand, for this case, this part instead of 2, it will be 1. So, there you will get for this case, you will be getting 0.5 milli ampere. So, this is uh, I should say 0.5 milli ampere and this is um, 2 milli ampere and likewise. So, um, uh, if you see uh, here, we are applying the uh, terminal voltage directly. Um, may not be uh, the case always like this. Uh, so, uh, in case if it is uh, uh, rather if you are moving towards more practical circuit, uh, instead of uh, giving independent supply at the drain and source, we may be having rather different situation. So, uh, let me uh, frame this problem uh, for you. Uh, so, we may be having a, um, so this is using NMOS of course. Uh, so, let you consider we do have a supply voltage, uh, but then at the drain we do have a resistance and this is called R. And um, let you also have uh, um, potential divider to generate the gate voltage. So, we do have potential divider here and this is say connected to ground. And let you consider that um, uh, this is uh, maybe um, uh, maybe R 1 and this is R 2 and let you consider this is uh, this is getting a DC voltage from a battery say 5 volt. So, we call this is V D D is equal to 5 volt. Why is it V D D? Because this voltage it is not directly coming to the drain, it is finally it is going to the drain, but through some other element. So, the voltage here it is referred as V D to distinguish that uh, V D and this voltage uh, normally it is uh, used as 2 D's. So, we call this is V D D and this is 5 volt. And for this case, let me consider that. Uh, uh, this may be uh, say um, 2 k or 20 k say 20 kilo ohms and this is let you consider um, 30 kilo ohms. 
So, that makes this potential divider making this voltage equal to, so 5 volt it is getting divided um, uh, by these two resistors and the voltage coming here it is uh, 2 volt from the, uh, from the potential divider you can get. And in fact, since the current to the gate it is 0, so even after connecting this gate to this node the voltage remains 2 volt unlike VJT. So, uh, DC wise at least uh, it is not drawing any current. Uh, so, the, so that makes the voltage here directly coming from this 2 and um, so if this is 5 volt and then if this is a uh, 1 kilo ohm, can you find what will be the IDS? So, how do you proceed? First of all, um, for simplicity, uh, suggestion will be first you assume that device it is in saturation region because the expression of the current in that saturation current it is uh, uh, relatively simple. So, we consider I d s equals to k w by l and 2 also and then we consider v g s minus v t h square. Okay. So, we assume that lambda is uh, approximately 0. So, we can uh, ignore the I V d s dependency. So, this makes uh, of course, uh, here we are assuming this one and end of it we have also have to verify. In case if the device it is not really in, uh, in uh, this region uh, saturation region, then you have to use the triode region equation and then you have to solve the second order equation to find the uh, V d s. So, uh, let you consider say this case first and uh, probably in this case the device it is in saturation region. So, the voltage here it is um, 2 volt. So, this part it is um, 1 and um, so here whatever the, uh, the parameters are given here it is k is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 and w by l it is uh, 2 and then we do have another 2 here and then we do have this is 1 square. So, that gives us 1 milliampere current. So, we do have 1 milliampere of current and we do have uh, 1 k uh, resistance here. So, if this current is 1 milliampere then drop across this one it is only uh, 1 k multiplied by uh, 1 milli. So, uh, this is 1 volt. So, we have 5 volt here the voltage coming here it is 4 volt. So, the voltage here it is 4 volt and if you compare now we do have 2 volt here, we do have 4 volt here. So, if you see the gate voltage and source uh, the drain voltage difference of course, gate voltage is lower than the drain voltage. As a result we already have the pinch off happening which means that the device is in saturation. So, then our initial assumption is correct. So, then we are uh, we are correctly getting this 1 milliampere of current. Now, let us see the other case. So, instead of this one let you consider this case and again let you start from this assumption that device it is in saturation and if that is true then the current here it will be uh, oh sorry we already have considered this case uh, sorry we already have considered this 1 milliampere and if it is 1 k then the voltage drop here it, this is uh, 1 volt and then we do have 4 volt here. So, the device in, in saturation. In fact, the device is uh, here as well as uh, here it is in saturation. Uh, in this case of course, the, the drop here it will be less uh, rather uh, it will be only 200 millivolt. So, for this case uh, the voltage uh, uh, at this point it is, um, uh, it is uh, 5 minus um, 0 0.2. So, that is uh, rather 4.8 volt and in way the device is remaining in saturation. Next part it is that can you find, can you find the value of this R or rather maximum value of R, so that the device it is just in saturation. So, to find that you need to know what will be the, uh, the voltage required here so that the, the pinch of it is just happening. If this is 2 volt and threshold voltage is 1, 
So, the pinch off it will just happen when this voltage it is 1 volt. So, to find this one I should start with this 1 volt and then if uh, yeah, the current here it is 1 milli ampere for this VGS if the device is remaining in saturation. So, of course, at the verge of uh, that saturation the current is also 1 milli ampere assuming lambda is equal to 0. So, the drop across this uh, one for uh, this R max. So, R max into this 1 milli ampere should be equal to 5 volt minus this 1 volt. So, that is 4 volt. So, that gives us R max is equal to uh, uh, 1 volt divided by 1 milli ampere. So, this is equal to sorry 4 volt divided by 1 milli ampere. So, that is 4 k. So, uh, this R it can go as high as 4 k without any problem, but then if this uh, resistance is more than this one. So, let us consider this is uh, uh, this is uh, uh, 8 k. So, then what happens? Probably you can find what will happen if R equals to 8 kilo ohms, then what happens? What will be the current? Whether the current will increase or decrease, of course, the device it, it will enter into triad region. So, probably later on we will see what will, what will happen, but um, for most of the analog circuit we prefer to keep the device in saturation region. Probably for analog circuit then um, we will we'll not be really venturing out to increase this R beyond this value. In case if you are increasing the diode the device it will enter into triad region. So, let me uh, at least uh, give one numerical problem uh, similar to the previous case and uh, however, let me use uh, different uh, uh, of course, the appropriate bias condition. Uh, so, we do have the VDD here, VDD uh, we consider this is 5 volt. So, that is getting generated by a potential uh, say 5 volt with respect to um, ground and then here we do have the bias circuit namely the um, resistance connected to the drain and finally, it will be going to the same ground and um, here we can uh, probably we can keep potential divider like this and this potential divider is providing a voltage for the gate. So, here also the current is 0. So, whatever the this uh, R 1 and R 2's ratio based on that we can find what will be the voltage here. Mm, so, that will set the uh, whatever um, uh, gate voltage or V S G and then uh, for different conditions here we can find you know, whether the device it is in saturation or not. So, uh, for a similar situation let me create uh, the similar situation here also. So, let me assume that uh, this is um, say um, uh, 20 k and this is a um, 30 k. So, the voltage here it is uh, 3 volt. So, that makes this voltage V s g is equal to 2 volt. It is similar to the previous case where V g s it was 2 volt and the parameter here it is given uh, similar. So, um, you can see that if I assume the device it is in saturation the current flow here it will be uh, with the same uh, calculation it will be 1 milli ampere. So, if I consider first case uh, then of course, the drop here it will be 1 volt. So, the voltage here it is 1 volt and um, the voltage here it is 3 volt. So, that makes uh, the gate voltage uh, 3 volt and this is 1 volt. So, that means the uh, towards the drain we do not have the channel that means the channel the, the pinch off already happened which means that the device it is in saturation region. So, then that assumption is correct and hence the corresponding current it will be 1 milli ampere. So, of course, if the resistance is smaller uh, definitely this drop it will be smaller. So, that makes this device still I mean rather comfortably remaining in saturation region. So, uh, 
Now, let me change this problem slightly different one. Uh, if I change this um, say the this resistance to say 30 k and this resistance to 20 k and then for for this case if it is 1 kilo ohm can you find what will be the corresponding um, uh, ISD current. So, this is I should write ISD. So, probably uh, you can find for this case uh, if R equals to 1 k uh, you can find what will be the ISD and check whether the of course, uh, you can the procedure it will be same you can start with the assumption the device it is in uh, saturation and then you can verify it. I think uh, uh, that is all we need to cover related to device. So, what are the things we have covered so far? Uh, the basic structure of the um, and the PMOS and we have compared with uh, uh, a MOS transistor, then biasing and operating principle of the uh, MOSFET PMOSFET, characteristic equation, IV characteristic equation um, uh, of the uh, MOS transistor graphical representation of the characteristic equation and some of the numerical examples. Simple numerical examples to find the uh, current uh, under certain bias conditions. So, this, uh, this ends to uh, our prerequisite and uh, from the next module we will be directly going to uh, analog electronics in detail. We will start with a simple circuit that is all.